folks, Lindsay here, the frugal crafter. My desk is a mess and I'm ready to craft. How about you? Good, I'm glad. It's Monday morning when I'm recording this and um, I've got all kinds of stuff here on my desk and including my art journal which um, was donated by orientaltrading.com. Please check them out if you're in the need of arts and crafts materials. Um, so I had made this background with my hot glue stencils and I didn't know what I was going to do with it and then I made this. Uh, yesterday, if you were checking out my uh, videos, you would have seen my lovely paper beads here, which I cannot wait to do a project with. But anyways, I made these with a botched background, then I did this background and it came out good. So that's what we're going to work on today, and we are going to do an art journal page. So first thing I want to do is adhere this down to my paper. Um, I've got this kind of uh, sky and sea background, I want to put it right here on the horizon. And um, I think I'm going to use my hot glue for that, just because I want to tack it down real quick. and. It's also, um, you know, was done on just watercolor paper, lots and lots of ink and water, and it tend to buckle a little bit, so I wanted to make sure that that was going to really adhere down well. All right, and for a little decoration, I thought I would use some of this. Um, now, this is actually washi paper that I had put, like, through a Xyron machine and made it stickers, so I guess you'd consider a washi tape for that fact, but, I mean, it's just, um, it's just some handmade paper tape that I had that I had come up with and it was sitting in my basket where I keep all my handmade paper tapes which I have accumulated quite a bit by now and I just thought that might kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a nice flare. I'll stick that down there. I love to layer things. So when I was uh, making this background I really wanted something that looked like a wave and uh, oh by the way I'm going to be giving away these rubber stamps from About Art Accents and a ten dollar gift certificate to their shop. If you want to go to my blog and leave a comment under the post where I show this video, and uh, you'll be entered to win. Um, so what I already did was stamp them and colored them, and they are. I've got this mermaid here, and um, I've got this little. Um, oh, this one too. I got this little panel. It's these three ladies on the. Looks like fishing ladies. I don't know on the uh, water, and it looks like there's like a mythical creature in the water, maybe this little like fishing goddess or something. I thought maybe this would all go together. Um, so I want to put that on there too. And um, I like this junk boat here. I want it kind of tossed around the waves. It kind of reminds me of, uh, of the Tempest. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down just by the bottom of the boat. I had uh, colored these in with my pearlescent watercolors um, in there. So they're super shimmery and fun. And I was actually going to do a card, but then I, uh, I, the background was big and I really liked the way the background looked. It was too big for a card and I didn't want to chop it up, so that's why I'm using it here. And my mermaid, I'm going to put my mermaid right there, kind of like she, this is the Tempest and she's like the siren controlling it all. Oh, I love, I love Shakespeare. I love the summer, um, Shakespeare on the park series that they have around here every year. And I, last year we saw the Tempest and I just, um, I don't know. It just is really summery to me. I just love that whole nerdiness, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so she's going to go right there. And um, I think I'll do a little more tape underneath here to anchor her to the picture. Let's do a little bit here. i got to leave room for some journal in here because this is an art journal page after all. I feel like I'm going like 90 miles a minute here. I don't know why. Well, I've got a big to-do list today. I think that's why. I've got uh, my house looks like, you know, oh, it's like, it's destruction up there. I really have got to clean. I've got to uh, register my vehicle. I've got to do so many different things. And I signed up to do a farmer's market. So I've got to get that stuff ready today too, because that's this weekend. And I know if I put it off, then I'm going to flake out. And I really, I really don't want to flake out. So I think maybe one more little piece of washi tape there. No, I don't like that one. Maybe this one. Hmm, let's try this. This one is an uh, oriental trading washi tape here that, uh, again, was... Uh, donated from those fine folks over there at Oriental Trading. There we go, it's upside down, I'm going to put it on like that. There we go, I think that will look nice. And I want to put a sunshine up here, and I found this little die cut kind of sitting, look how dusty, it's a dusty die cut sitting in my stash. And let me dust that off, yeah, dust it right over my journal page, that's what my journal page needs, a little dust on there. Um, so I'm going to put that up there, but I think I want to back it with something first, so let me just glue that on there. Actually, let me trace it, and then I can, I can kind of cut around it so I don't have to fussy cut it. Geez, you think I have a writing utensil on this table somewhere with all this stuff, wouldn't you? Alright, let me just take, trace that gently here. And then I can use my scissors, fancy, fancy cutting tool here. I just want to cut out a little bit bigger than what I traced so I have room to glue it down. 
Do -do -do. So entertaining. Hope you had a good weekend. I did. It was a very lazy one. Yesterday I was just like being such a bum. <laughs> just lazing around. Oh. But I guess you gotta have days like that sometime. There, put that right up there. And let's see, where do you with my little die cut? Hmm, there it is. I think I might use my fine tip glue applicator for that. Something tells me hot glue in this is not gonna be the best, uh, the best idea. I'll use my little Mod Podge here. I love these things. I uh, did a journal page using these to draw a design and then paint over it. It was really cool. These are from Tilly's Bridge, if you wanna check them out. Um, if you're in the United States or Canada, otherwise, um, I don't know if you can get them, or you might have find a, somebody else outside of the country that sells them. All right, so we're going to set that up. By the way, the stamp giveaway that's going to be on my blog, momentarily, is open to everyone all over the world. So, I do hope you, uh, oh, I like that, I do hope you join us. All right, so now I want to do, I want to make that, that sun a little fancier. So I think I'm going to use some yarn. I got a couple different kinds of yarn I want to use, and I think I might use hot glue, because... Uh, that will definitely stick it down good. I got a couple fancy novelty yarns in here that I want to try. I got this at Target like, oh, I don't know, a long time, probably eight years ago. It's You can always tell what the, what the, uh, what the big crafts are if Target carries them in the dollar spot. <laughs> you know, if it was knitting or beading or whatever, Target will have the, uh, the supplies in the dollar spot if it's a, if it's a popular craft. Let me get some of this too. This is kind of pretty, this golden color. Um, I haven't used much of this. Sometimes I'll put it as a little trim on like a hat or a, I don't know, Kindle case or something, but I usually even just don't use them very much. These little novelty yarns, I guess they're good for a little accent, and they're certainly fabulous for scrapbooking or art journaling or card making, because they, they give you such a nice little, nice little flair. Sorry about hitting the camera there, yikes. My camera on a stick, hanging from the ceiling, so fancy. All right, I think I'll start at the middle here, pick, make a little spiral with glue. Hopefully, I've got enough glue stick in there to get me through. You know what? I don't think I do. Let me pause that and get another glue stick. I'm blind when the camera's rolling. I had one like right there, and I was like, oh, I gotta pause it. Get it across my room. I really didn't. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a spiral. That's my ambitious, I'm gonna get that all glued down before it dries spiral. Probably burn myself in the process. Uh, I think I should have spiraled the other way. Now that feels very uh, weird to spiral something in that direction. All right, so the goal is to stick down the yarn without burning myself, without burning my hands off. Can I do it? We will see. I'm just gonna gently tack it down. I might need to add a little more glue, but that's all right. Probably should use like a little spatula or something. You know, what? I think I'm gonna do some more. Where's my glue gun? There we go. Get a little more glue in there. Let's. Let's make a ripe old mess of this, shall we? There we go. At least it's clear. <laughs> My clear hot glue. Really should have a silicone spatula or something so I could press that down. I'm sure I've got something on my table that I can grab in just a second to do that. Oh, this is pretty. That'd only be pretty with a little, some beads and glitter would be really nice on that, I think. All right, so let's see. What could I press? Ah, knitting needle. That works. And it's yarn and everything. It's like meant to be. There we go. Hopefully I get enough uh, glue there. If not, I'll uh, add a little bit more after a bit. All right, so we've got a sun. We've got a mermaid. We've got this thing here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And I, I also, uh, I was out back. My, my kids have been playing with the BB guns and uh, shooting cans. And I thought, oh, well, you know, that color would just be right for my mermaid journal page that I'm going to do, so I confiscated it. I don't know if you can return cans once they've got bullet holes in them anyway. I sound like such a redneck, don't I? Oh, shooting cans in the backyard, dear. Oh my. All right, I'm just going to punch a few shapes. Sharpens your punches, I hear. Maybe it does, I don't know, but I, I've always thought they sharpen, it sharpens them. Let's go with it sharpens them, shall we? I'm not going to, I don't want to be held responsible if anybody ruins their punches. <laughs> I've never had a problem with it, so it must be all right. And this is kind of fun to do for jewelry too. Just be careful of the sharp edges. I wouldn't let your kids do this because, you know, sharp edges and all. Maybe I'll get a couple smaller ones here. And 
sometimes you have to cut in a little bit to get to where you want to be. Yeah, I'm not going to cut myself on this, as graceful as I am. All right. If I don't end up cutting myself, I'll burn myself gluing it down. <laughs> maybe we'll put these up here. I think the little extra sparkle up there might be kind of cool. And then maybe over here, like a bubble. I like that. All right, I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to use my hot glue again because I like hot glue. And it catches it. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> by the way, by the by, metal, hot glue on metal. Hot, the heat transfers through metal really well. There's a little science lesson for you. There we go. Let's, let's use our handy dandy knitting needle for that, shall we? Actually, why don't I just put that glue right there, plop it in, and press it down. Don't burn your hands off, folks. Hot metal will burn you. Okay. So I want to put, I have a quote uh, by Ralph Waldo Emerson that I want to put right here. And um, I wanted also to share how I'm storing my Oriental Trading stencils. I put them right in, a, right in the file folder, even the 12 by 12 ones. They hang out a little bit, but that's all right. So I, so this was um, 850, all these stencils, all these journaling stencils. So I was pretty psyched. Um, they did, uh, disclosure, they did give them to me because um, they think I'm awesome, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, that sounds so silly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some of these lines here for my journaling lines. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use if I'm going to um, use them all or if I'm going to use every other one. So what I'm going to do is just sketch them. Uh, some of these wavy ones, really light, and uh, then I'll decide when I go to do my uh, penning in my words whether I want to use every one or not. So that's how I'm going to do that. Whoops, my journal, my thing slipped, and I got a weird line there. I think that's all right. Get that one in there too. All right, because I kind of like the artsy journaling and it's just nice to have a little guide to start you off. I'll just erase that little mistake line there. Whoa. All right, now I'm gonna use my Micron pens also from Oriental Trading to just do some simple um, line letters. My quote is, live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. So I think I'm gonna start up here and just what, Let's see, this is a three. I think I want a thicker pen. I think I want uh, my 08 nib, which I swear I had like a minute ago. There's wow. Now we use the one. Oh, I, you know, I turned the camera on and I can't find a darn thing. Yep, my housekeeping style leaves something to be desired. All right, live. I'm going to do it all uppercase too. Live in the, I like skinny, I'm doing skinny uppercase, that's a technical term. Sunshine, I think I'll do sunshine between these two here because I think it will be cool. Hope it doesn't rain tomorrow, oops I'm doing uppercase, I forgot. Um, because I want to take a little trip. Live in the sunshine. Swim. I'm kind of making up my line here because I've kind of run out of space. See, I'm using every other line. I think it's really cool though. I looked and to find this quote, what I did was I went to, um, I went to the computer, I went to the internet, and I searched uh, C quotes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Technology lessons from Lindsay. Swim in the sea. Drink the wild air. This is a nice quote. As long as you do the same, like treat every letter the same, then your journaling will look good, which is just a little tip. W I L And then um, I think I'll just probably put Emerson because I'm kind of out of space. So 
That were, well, you know what, I think I can fit the whole thing. He did, did a great job right now. Go on, I guess I can fit his whole name in there. Okay, and I wanted to put this uh, fishing ladies here, but I think I want to have some mesh or some sort of textural thing in there. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to see if I have some mesh ribbon or something I can add to this. Huzzah! I've got some mesh. And I've got some tool. I forgot I grabbed this tool. I was going to use it on the sunshine, but uh, we can use that on the uh, underneath our ladies here. You know what I think I'll do is I'll just build like kind of a um, little, little background right on the back of this panel. I think that would probably be the easiest non burny way to do this. And I'll stick the tool there. And it's ribbon too. And the mesh is actually just some um, drywall mesh that I painted with acrylic paint. So it was like my own magic mesh. Do you remember that? That was like really popular many years ago in the scrapbooking world. It was just really. Um, it's just drywall mesh. It was colored basically, and uh, you could just you know paint your own, paint your own drywall mesh, with acrylic paint, and you're in business, in business. Okay, and I just want to make sure I have room to uh, to see my journaling, and I think I'm just going to stick a little bit of this orange mesh right down on the paper because that's got a little bit of a stickiness to it. I'll just trim it. I love making my own supplies too. That's so, so fun. All right, and let's just see. Maybe even, you know what? That didn't stick down to, I think I peel it off. Let me just see, I might want that going differently. Maybe like that. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, I'm just gonna do a big gob of glue on the back of this and I'm just gonna sandwich it all down and trap all those little fibers in there. There we go. Nothing too fancy here. There we go. All right. So let's look at what we have here. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. Um, I can go in and erase those pencil marks if I want to. Why not? It's not going to um, affect, it's not going to rub away any of the paint or ink or anything I have underneath. Um, sometimes I just love to have these backgrounds all ready to go in my journal and then I just uh, journal on top of them. And, um, and it works out really well for me. So I hope you try something like that. I hope you, uh, you know, just really go for it in your art journals. Don't worry about doing it right. Don't worry about doing it wrong. Just have fun with it because it really ought to be fun. Um, I'll show you really quick the, uh, well, do I have them here? I don't need, yeah, I do right here. Um, so I used my homemade watercolors and these uh, Niji Cheapo Pearlescent watercolors. They work great. Gives you a really nice sparkle and sheen on your um, on your project. And these stamps are by About Art Accents. I will have links below this video to all those stamps. Make sure you go to my blog and leave a comment on the post where I show you this project so you can win. Um, the templates and pens and journal itself are from Oriental Trading. I will also put links to those under the video so you can check those out as well. And um, please, if you order from anybody that has um, um, that has generously shared with me and my channel and sponsored um, videos by either giving me supplies or other sponsorship opportunities, please make sure that you say thank you the next time you order from them. Um, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these types of videos. And until next time, happy crafting.